to you. So over to Mike number one. Could you identify who you are and where you live? Hi. Um, my name is Sam White. I'm with the uh, PI Reproductive Rights Organization. And this question is directed primarily to Dr. Turnbull, but I'd like to hear from everyone. Um, you mentioned accessibility and portability, as well as the need for low-income residents to have the same access. Um, what are your opinions on the fact that PEI is the only province without access uh, within our own province to abortion services, and also the fact that the province is funding less than 10% of the abortions off-island? So, Dr. Turnbull. <laughs> well, thanks for sending me a very a, an easy and non-controversial <laughs> question. <laughs> um, I'll, uh, I think the, uh, I do believe in a patient-centered care. I believe that we have to listen to our communities and we have to provide the services that our communities need. We have to provide that um, as locally as possible within the limited resources that we have. Uh, primary services, um, I think primary services such as those that you've described, very uh, individual, but on the other hand, primary services should be provided within the constituency within which, within which you live. I can understand patients having to go for tertiary or high-tech services outside of a jurisdiction. We do that within Ontario, but um, I think we have a responsibility to provide all of the services necessary for a community. Um, that w are within our uh, immediate resources that are in primary and secondary care. So now I'll turn to uh, Leo to speak on behalf of Health PEI. Just uh, not that I want to cut it off, but just so we have uh, him as the big boss, he can speak to uh, well, to that, and then we'll move on. Actually, uh, I'm probably the wrong person. I'm uh, I'm here for what three and a half years, and there's a fair bit of history behind uh, what you're what you're speaking of. I certainly support the, the concept of uh, availability of all primary care services on the island. I don't know the history of why we have not, um, and I'm going to pass it on to someone who's been here for a long time. I, I can tell you the history later if you like. <laughs> love to hear it. Love to hear it. No, uh, so, Keith, do you want to take just one second or one it there? Or? Yeah. It, um, as mentioned there, it, it, it's a controversial subject. There's a, it's one that has different uh, perspectives, and, and that I, I, and I wouldn't disagree with the earlier comments on what services should be provided as locally as possible. We do have some challenges in what broader services we do provide here, and we don't provide in, uh, everything. I do understand that this is not the same as a uh, heart transplant or whatever, so in terms of the complexity. But it also requires we're a province of 144,000 people, and it uh, creates some challenges for us in terms of being able to provide the services here. No matter what they are, we will do our best, and I know there are conversations that will be occurring because the minister has uh, committed to meet with the group to talk further about, uh, about that matter and what might be able to, to uh, be provided there. Thank you. Um, would, uh, would you be able to speak in regards to the lack of funding? And why is it that every other province does have funding to one extent or another except for Prince Edward Island? My understanding is we fund all approved abortions in, in terms of when they go to a, a recognized site. If they go to the private clinic, I don't think those are covered. Is that correct? Right. But right. as well, many of the hospital abortions aren't covered as well due to a, lack, a, a lot of its lack of referral and also because of the loophole stating that it needs to be deemed medically necessary where that doesn't exist in any other province. That's the first I've heard of that, to be honest with you. We, we do cover abortions through the reciprocal billing program uh, with Nova Scotia. Um, some women do travel to Ontario or Quebec, for example. But if it's done in a public facility, it's, it's automatically billed through to Health PEI. Except that it's actually listed under the excluded list, which means that it doesn't necessarily have to be covered. Maybe what we'll do with this one, it sounds like people Anyways, don't, have, much. Yeah, don't have all the information, but an opportunity to, you know what the questions are now when they meet with the minister. <laughs>